This is Harbor Freight, the dollar store Home Depot, where their slogan is, whatever you do, do it for less. What I love to do is RV. So I wanted to see what their highest rated gear was that can be used for RVing and put it to the test. See what my review would be. Can it live up to the five-star reviews that I'm reading? Oh, and one more thing. I want to get about eight items, but I only want to spend 50 bucks. This, this isn't sponsored by Harbor Freight by any means, and I'm not an independently wealthy guy. So I guess that's why I'm going to Harbor Freight. That's why somebody goes to Harbor Freight, to, to be able to save money. Now, I'm glad that I made a list because it's easy to get distracted by things that aren't on the highest rated list. But I, I did find probably the one thing made in the US. But the first thing that we're gonna look at today is this folding table. Mr. Table here comes in at 4.7 stars out of five. So it's it's highly rated. And the, the review we're gonna be judging this up against says it's easy to set up and take down. So we're gonna test that. Strong and durable, definitely gonna be testing that. And it does not tip. Drink holders are great. Carry case is an extra bonus for when camping. So first impressions with this folding table is I like it. I like how small and compact and easy it would be to store inside the RV, which, which is important to me. Uh, folding camping table, perfect for picnics, beaches, parks, backpacking. I don't I don't think it would be that that great for backpacking. Sporting events and tailgating. So naturally, I want to test out how easy this is to set it up. And thankfully, it is extremely easy. No instructions necessary. Easily snaps into place and you're done. The next thing that I want to test out is how strong this is. So for some reason, I had it in my mind that I had put the generators on my favorite table that we have, and it's about the same size. I thought the strength test would be to put two generators on this table. If I would have read the instructions that I stuffed in my pocket, I would have realized that it's way beyond the weight capacity. But to my surprise, it held two generators strong. I definitely wouldn't recommend that. It would stretch out the canvas eventually and taller things on this table do tip over easily. So like I said, the cup holders are nice. So with that, I think I have enough information to write my review. Enjoying this easy to set up camping table, glad it has drink holders. Otherwise they would tip easily on the canvas top. Strength is a full two generators strong. Next up are nitrile gloves. These have a 4.7 stars with 14,000 reviews on them. So they're quite popular. And Tommy says, I keep a pair of these in multiple places. Perfect for painting, dirty work, and the RV. Pretty straightforward. I need to dump the tanks, test out the gloves. This one's pretty cut and dry. Uh, they're, they're gloves and they work, but I do use gloves every single time that I dump an empty air tanks because I don't like the, the contamination, making sure that I don't get bacteria or something on my hands that I don't want on my hands. Another thing that we do every time is actually the sponsor of this video and it's the Taste Pure water filter. We use a water filter every single time we connect up the water to the RV. One thing that I learned is that Taste Pure is the number one water filter for RVing in America. It has six steps water filtration with the KDF treatment, the activated carbon, and it's just good at getting the sediment out of your water before it comes into the RV. So I always use a water filter. The link is gonna be down below if you wanna check out the number one RV water filter in America and the, the new updates that they've made to it. Link, link right below. Let's move on to our next review. Okay, here's one that's kind of interesting, and it's a water pump. This one comes in at 4.4 stars out of five. I have to confess, I cheated a little on this one. This is a, a pump that we've had for a, a while, but it's very similar to the one that they have at Harbor Freight. So people use this water pump if you're out there off grid and you need to transfer more water into your RV. You can bring it in jugs, you can have it in a bladder, you can bring it out there so that you can put it into your RV. And oftentimes people use this little guy to transfer that water. Not all of them are for potable water, but I've definitely transferred water into our RV using this little pump. Let's read some reviews. Travis says, not to use with gasoline, but I can siphon a gas tank completely empty in five minutes. No more crazy fuel prices for me. Don't, don't, don't do that. We're not testing that. Next review. Actually, my review. Helpful little pump for transferring water. Don't use it to steal gasoline like Travis. Okay, now we have some of the highest rated products that we have on this list. Uh, number one being the tent stakes coming in at 4.8 stars. And we have the wheel chocks coming in at 4.9 stars. These are both so simple. You can say everything you need in a short review. Don't buy cheap plastic wheel chocks that can get crushed and blow away when you can buy these cheap wheel chocks that aren't gonna get crushed or blow away. P.S. Unless you have a coupon, these are cheaper on Amazon. And for the tent stakes, they're a little heavy, but nailed it. 
Now this next one is just plain practical. You know from RVing from any amount of time that you have to make repairs to the RV. And so this is a storage tote. So you can have hardware with you. So when you need to repair the RV, you have the screws and the lag bolts and whatever you need to be able to do the repairs. If you've seen any of our repairs recently, I need more hardware and larger hardware to do some of those repairs. So. That's where this guy comes in and it's rated at 4.4 stars. But Don's review says, great storage. You can make different size sections with the adjustable dividers and they fit tightly and reach to the underside of the lid so you can toss this around and the contents will still stay separated. So let's throw some hardware in here, toss it around, see how it does and test the waterproofness of it. First look, looks like everything's staying in its own compartment. Let's try and squirt some of this water into the seam. See if I can get under that lid. First look, it looks good. Well, with that, it makes the review pretty easy. Does what it says it'll do, keeps my hardware in their little compartments, keeps the dust and the water out. Now this next one might be one of the things that almost everybody that's gone to Harbor Freight has at their house at some point. It's this little cheap magnetic hook light that you can use just about anywhere. They, they do come in handy. It's rated at 4.8 stars with 45,000 reviews on it. I, I don't think it needs another review. I've talked about it before, but it's such a cheap light. You use them for working on the car, working on the RV. I magnetize them to the frame when doing inverter stuff. It's, I, $1.78, how, how can you pass up something like that? O oftentimes you can get these for free. Now this next one is super cheap as well. Coming in at $5, we have this little lantern. Light turns on when you uh, open it and turns off when you close it. But it comes in at 4.8 stars. Feels like it's all plastic, very cheaply made, except for the, the metal handles at the top. That's the only part that doesn't feel like it's plastic. But what do you expect for like $5? Or if you have a coupon, it could even be cheaper than that. Sir Gout's review says, I honestly have no complaints of this product. It was very helpful at night when we were using it to fix a head gasket. It was dropped a few times and still worked. Lights up, very great. The handle did eventually break, but to be fair, I dropped it. So yeah, would definitely recommend, especially for the price I got it for. I know this is kind of reviewing RVing gear and you, you could see this using it around a, a campsite at night or around the RV at night to illuminate everything. But I think a lot of people are getting these for emergency backup. So you can keep it, that lights up an entire room. It it is, it is pretty bright. Now we have one more light on this top rated gear and it's this two in one lantern. So this comes in at 4.4 stars and it has a light down here at the bottom. You have three different settings, but then this top is a bug zapper. So a little area bug zapper so you can uh, try and get rid of some of the mosquitoes around you when you're outside at night. So kind of interesting. And it recharges by plugging it into USB and charge it back up and you're, you're good to go. I think the bug zapper will last for like 20 hours or something crazy like that. It did last for us all night, but let's read one of the reviews. This one's from Nacho Daddy. Great little zapper. I bought this solely for the purpose of zapping bugs that came in when I moved my plants inside from the cold snaps. Every time I checked it, it has several 20 to 25 dead insects. You can rinse the zapper out with water. What? And start the counter over. I'm impressed. Now here's how I use this. While it does have a hook on top so you could hang it wherever you wanted to, it does fit really nicely inside those cup holders on that table that we picked up from Harbor Freight. And so it sheds the light down so that way you're not getting attacked with bugs everywhere, which was kind of nice. And then you turn on the bug zapper and the bugs that are up in your area start going in there and getting zapped. So you have fewer bugs around you, but not that you wanna try and kill every bug around you. The thing that I thought was kind of interesting that I did is I brought this inside at night. So you know how when you go in from the outside to the inside, like that review was, you bring in some of those mosquitoes and bugs with you. Well, you leave the bug zapper on at night, leave this hanging and you get rid of some of those bugs that are inside the RV that you don't want inside the RV. So. I'm hoping this little guy lasts. We're gonna see how it does. I mean, it did come from Harbor Freight, so you never know how long these things are gonna last, but it's washable, reusable, and might be a good little way to control bugs for us inside the RV. Like if we get fruit flies, when we had those Asian lady beetles inside the RV that were just taking over, I wish that I had something like this. So with that said, my review of this little guy is, I hope that it lasts long because I like being able to have the bug zapper and take it into the RV for those bugs that follow me inside and I don't have to be bugged by the bugs anymore. 
Now the real test is to see how long some of this stuff is gonna last. I don't imagine everything is gonna last here forever. So I'm gonna pin a comment down below and kind of update it as I have some of these things break or if they do fail, I'll leave that in that comment so that way you can see what's failed and what has is still working. So I think that's gonna do it for this haul from Harbor Freight of the top rated gear for RVing. I hope this helped you out in some way. I hope you guys en enjoyed this video. So as always, if we don't see you on the road, hopefully we will see you next video. Take care.